Hi, I'm Roxy Lang. Today is Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020, and what a wonderful, beautiful day the Lord has given us today. And today, all I've got done so far is done some Christmas shopping. I didn't plan on doing Christmas shopping today, but I got to the stores and everything Christmassy was up, so I found some a few items that I thought people might want, and I picked them up, and that's all I did was done some Christmas shopping, but it was so much fun. And we're going to continue on and talking about baby Jesus and this whole birth. And yesterday we talked about his mother, Mary. And today we'll continue on the story of Mary. And she goes to visit her cousin, Elizabeth, to tell her about the wonderful news of Jesus. So isn't it a wonderful season, Christmas season? Jesus is the joy, the joy of the season, the reason for the season. And he just loves being with us and sharing his love and his glory and his grace with us. And if you haven't already invited Jesus into your life to find the joy of the Lord, then today or this season is a time to do that, inviting Jesus into your heart. So you can just say, Jesus, I confess my sins. Forgive me of my sins. I want you in my heart to live forever and ever. So Jesus, I invite you into my life. So if you haven't already done that, this is a good time to invite Jesus into your heart and into your life. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength. So let's get into our songs. We have more Christmas songs to sing. And we'll say a little prayer and get into our story for today. So Father in heaven, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for your peace and your presence and your joy that you can bring, that you bring to us, that only you can bring to us. We thank you, Father God. For the gifts that you give us each and every day, the gift of life, the gift of love, the gift of your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for, for friends and family. We thank you, Father God, for just the peace that passes all understanding when you come into our lives. So I thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. So the first song that we'll sing today is Joy to the World joy to the world because Jesus brought joy to the world when he was born and we have jo the joy of the Lord in our hearts when we invite him in to stay with us joy to the world the Lord is come let earth receive her king let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing joy to the world jesus is the joy of the season the joy and a reason to live joy to the world joy to the whole wide world and the next song i think we sang it yesterday go tell it on the mountain it's just another wonderful Christmas song to sing and so if you know this sing along with me if you don't then uh, just try and sing along and maybe next time you'll get to know the words better and better go tell it on the mountains over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born when I was a seeker I sat both night and day I asked the Lord to help me, and he showed me the way. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. And go tell it everywhere, Jesus Christ is born. Because people need to hear the good news of Jesus Christ and his love for us and why he came to earth and what Christmas is all about. Christmas is about Jesus Christ, our Savior, coming to earth for us because he loved us. God the Father loved us so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to come and live on the earth as a baby and grow up to be a man right on the earth just like we live. So that is the joy. And we, we want to go out and tell tell it on the high tops, the mountain tops, all about Jesus Christ and his birth and what he's done for us. So the last song that we will sing is, O Come All Ye Faithful. 
And I don't think we sing this song yet, but it's another wonderful Christmas song. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him, Christ the Lord. And Christ is our Lord and our Savior, born in Bethlehem, born in Bethlehem to be our Savior. And it's such a wonderful, wonderful time of the year. So that's another wonderful song to sing at Christmas time with your family. If you have Christmas together with all your family and friends and maybe you have a little time where you sing some Christmas songs too with them besides besides in church. So let's get into our story today. It's talking more of the story of Mary, Jesus' mother. And we are in the Bible Stories Treasury. <clears throat> and here you can remember yesterday, Mary, Gabriel, an angel, came to tell Mary the good news that she was going to have a baby boy. She was going to have a son. And God was going to be the Almighty Father. And she was so happy and excited that she was chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus, the mother of King of Kings, the mother of of the Savior and she didn't know how special that Jesus was going to be she didn't know all the details of Jesus life but she know, knew that she was highly favored of God because of her faithfulness to God so she was excited Mary was very very excited that she was going to have a baby and she decided to go tell her cousin Elizabeth and Elizabeth lived a little ways away so it was probably a couple days walk to Elizabeth's home so she went to tell Elizabeth because she was so excited she wanted to tell somebody about this wonderful news so Mary couldn't wait to get to her cousin Elizabeth's home to tell her the wonderful exciting news about the baby that she was going to have she left home and hurried off. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, she called when she was getting close to her house. She ran up the steps, ran to see her cousin Elizabeth, and she said, Elizabeth, I'm going to have a baby. This baby is going to be named Jesus, and he's going to be a special, special baby. And she didn't know how special Jesus was going to be to the whole entire world. Elizabeth hugged her and she told her, she, Elizabeth said, the baby inside of me, because Elizabeth was gonna have a baby too. And her baby was John. And we talked about, we've talked about John before, John the Baptist, and that, that's the baby that Elizabeth had. Elizabeth said, my baby jumped inside of me when he heard your voice, because he knew that baby inside of Elizabeth knew that Jesus was a special baby. Mary, how wonderful, said Elizabeth. That is great, wonderful news. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited. As soon as I heard you, I knew that God has chosen you to be the mother of this promised king that is coming. So Elizabeth knew, the Holy Spirit told Elizabeth that this baby that Mary was carrying was a special, special baby. Because remember, Mary wasn't married yet and in those times, it was a bad thing not to be married. They got, sometimes they were stoned, sometimes bad things would happen to them. So it wasn't something that Mary could tell a whole lot of people, but she knew that she could trust her cousin Elizabeth to go and tell her about this special, special gift from God. Mary was so happy that she sang thank you to God 
She had a song and she just said, thank you, Lord. And she sang praises to God. Just like when God does good things for us, we have to remember to thank him and praise him because God is good and God is wonderful and God is great. So we thank and praise the Lord for all he does in our lives each and every day. What can you say thank you to God for today? Is there something you can thank God for? I know that our prayer that we said a little bit ago, we thank God for life. We thank God, what is something that you can thank God for today? I often remind you to wake up in the mornings and to say thank you to God and before you go to bed all day long, just whatever God does for us. Maybe it's just even a little thing. Sometimes we call them little things, but other people in other countries, like our food that we eat, some people in other countries don't have food. And there's a lot of homeless people out there that don't have a place to stay, a place to live. So they would be thankful for a home to live in, clothes to wear, nice clothes to wear, not just clothes that have that are uh, rub rubbished and, and look like they're ready for the trash. The shoes on our feet, even soap and water, a bathtub to take a bath in, the different kinds of food that we eat, the clean water that we drink, the lights that we have in our rooms. We have so many things to be thankful for. In our toys, we have so many toys to play with, have fun with. We can be thankful for our friends and our family. There's many, many things that we can be thankful for. So remember to thank the Lord today for the things that you can count. Maybe you can even just look around. Look around the room that you're in and just thank the Lord for what is there. Maybe it's a blanket that's sitting in a chair to keep you warm and comfortable. Maybe you're thankful for your TV or maybe a computer that you have for lights that make it bright in the room. Or you look outside and you say, oh, Lord, thank you for these beautiful trees that are out here. Maybe you have a little bit of snow on the ground and thank the Lord for the snow that he brings. Or the sun in the sky and the blue sky. There's so many things to be thankful for. Dear God, help me to remember to thank you just like Mary did. Mary was so thankful and Elizabeth was thankful and they both said thank you to God for what he has given to them. So how did you like that story today? I love the story leading up to Christmas, all when it first begins when mother, the mother of Jesus, Mary, becomes pregnant. She's gonna have that baby and she gets so excited because God is so good to her. And she goes to Elizabeth and tells her the wonderful, wonderful news. So we'll continue with more stories about Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. So thank you so much for listening. Please share these videos and stories with your brothers and sisters and cousins and all who you know because everybody needs to know the love of Jesus Christ and the joy that he brings to our lives and this Christmas season. What is Christmas all about? It's about the birth of our Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we wanna share that. Go to the top of the mountains and share what Jesus has done for you and for me. Thank you so much for watching. God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you, and have a wonderful rest of your day.